Today's the day. Where are we at? We're in Tampa, baby. Yeah. Fancy hotel. Yeah. The rest of them will be crappy, I'm sure. Yeah. Who are we, uh, who are we meeting today? Oh, some, some YouTubers. Some Just obscure. Larry, Lonnie, Sammy. Sammy? Sam? Crackhead? Sam, Sam Crack! Crackhead. That's yeah, it. Yes. Sam Crackhead. All right, well, <laughs> I guess we'll check out real quick and uh, hopefully our Uber driver's on time because it looks like he's already late. You don't want to oh, keep great. a big YouTuber waiting, right? YouTubers no. are pretty impatient people. I should probably watch a video or two of his. Yeah, you might, you might want to catch up <laughs> real quick. All right. Oh. Our Uber driver is uh, showing up in a Range Rover. Oh, this is fancy. Yeah, look at that. This is fancy. Oh, yeah. Don't be just Listen. <laughs> I'm supposed to be meeting this big YouTuber, man, and I don't like keeping people waping, so could could you, like, get us there quickly? Because you're late, man. No, no tip for you. No tip for you. Nice to meet you. I'm Mike. Yes. Is he going to... Is he going to... Does this thing open automatically, or do you have to manually? I mean, it's oh, okay. Oh. okay. You know, and I got my, my farm oh, bags well. in there, my wife's in there, so it's a little short, you know. Let's see here. This is, a, this is an know, autobiography. You see parts and, and tools and stuff. Yeah, jump packs and yeah, spark, spark plugs. plugs. And do you have any extra fuel injectors? Uh, not in here, because oh. they would smell. Right, right. <laughs> I have <laughs> I want to use farm it. feed um, for the chickens, I assume? No, that's for cows. For cows, okay. Wait, what's wrong with your bag? It's like your Range Rover. You got a brand it's new <laughs> Dodge Ram. You know, I may trade it, but... Yeah. Well, some, there, there you go. go. Something happened there. Just throw guy. it on top. There you go. Oh, yes. Well, big YouTuber's making me. <laughs> <laughs> God's sakes. Well... I mean, I'm living large today. It's good to meet you, Sam. You too. Yeah, it's good yeah. to meet you. Nice, to, nice to meet you. I've been watching for a long time. Thank you. No, yes, he hasn't. Yes, yes. He has not. <laughs> he, he just told me he needs to watch some of your videos so he knows what the hell he's talking no. about. So who's taking what seat? I was, I'm sitting up front. Oh, wait. Hold on. This is the autobiography. Come, the, come on, Mike. Come around this way. The front okay. seats are the, are, the, are the bad ones, right? The, yeah, the back the, seat's a good seat in this car. But, but, hold on. Get, get oh, my. Yeah. Front. Dang it. Oh wow! It's does this have the executive seating package and everything? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm sure lot. it does. And I just I get to sit in in the regular it's, it's seat. Nice. It's still nice. They all got massage and everything, you know. Okay, well I could use a good massage. All right, well Jeez. we're already like exposing me with the camera. I feel. Yeah, I'm like... sorry. I mean, I've seen every other YouTuber do it, so I figured <laughs> you were expecting it. That's fine. <laughs> Let's start with those cool little things right there. Yeah. I like that. Okay. So I'm here to buy one of your cars. Yeah. And so there's quite okay. a few to choose from. I, yes. Yep. You know, there's, yeah. But you got to pass a credit check first. Credit All check. Right? Okay. You know, we need a proof of funds. We need something because okay. everything out here costs. I'm a YouTuber. Nothing's free. Yeah. But you know, these guys. I got cred. Double check. I got YouTube cred, man. Okay. All right, well. I got almost half a million is subscribers. That what you, is that okay? what, when you walk into David Stanley Chrysler Dodge Jeep, <laughs> on the credit application, do you put down youtube.com slash no, auto auction rebuild exactly. and then just turn it in? Not exactly. Okay. No, not so, quite. well, there's some fun stuff. There's some stuff that's pretty cheap out here, too. Well, we're we're so. in the cheap section. Okay. Perfect. Okay? That's my section. The further back we get, the cheaper it gets. Okay. But we'll start with these, which I think are probably the most unique cars out of the bunch because they actually use legitimate blinker fluid. There is literal wow. water in that headlight. I've heard of this stuff before, it's but I've real never seen it. Blinker fluid, and it's only used in this make and model. This is a Daihatsu Mira. I wow. never did a video on one of these yet, and I have two of them. One for Mike and one for me. If you guys drove these home, that would be fun. <laughs> <laughs> that would be scary. let me tell you they drive yeah. they get up to highway speeds they're quick because they have a four-cylinder turbocharged engine they weigh absolutely nothing these right. are japanese k cars and they're japanese so if you have a battery jump pack i mean that's the only thing that's gonna be dead on this right now it, they fire right up they have manual transmissions and they have selectable all-wheel drive now when i bought it and i learned about the selectable all-wheel drive i got in and I looked and said, well, where in the heck do you select the all-wheel drive? I couldn't find a single switch in the car 
for the selectable all-wheel drive and it turns out you actually get underneath the car there's a little plunger under there you push oh. it in and pull it out lovely so these are really unique i mean and look at the i mean i forgive me the leaves on the seat but the the, the interior is even a little sporty on them they've got a lot of character these little cars and so the the quick story is i saw these things online and there's this japanese auction site that i look at from time to time and i really need to stop buying cars from them because i don't end up doing anything with the darn cars right but these are so cool how do you pass them up they wanted 2500 bucks a piece plus shipping okay and I saw it and I said, well, what sort of deal can you cut me? And by the time we went back and forth and back and forth to ship both of them deal, da, 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 $3,650 for two of these delivered to the port of Jacksonville. I had to just drive three hours to pick them up. Really? I then paid an importer a little bit of money on that, but that you always pay the importer. There's no right. getting out of that. Um, well, I, I guess you might be able to figure out how to file your own paperwork, but they make it easy. And from what I understand, if you mess up the paperwork, they will confiscate cars. They will, you know, and so okay. you hire them. Yeah. These are super legal because they're over 25 years of age. Yeah. But these are probably the cars that I have enjoyed the most that I have got from Japan. I bought these. I bought my uh, wife a Nissan Figaro, which is gone. I remember. Oh. It's it's. It was uh, lawn ornament last time I saw it. It was a lawn ornament here. It was a lawn ornament at my yeah. friend Zach's place. Yeah. He repainted the whole thing. And the problem with that was it had so much chrome trim on it. Once he started peeling it, bends. You know what it costs to replace that chrome trim? You can only get used good condition. It costs more than the car costs. So it was like, nope, we're not. Okay. My my theme is sensible. Right. You're going to see a few exotic cars out here, but I still do things as sensibly as possible on them. Okay. And that was not sensible at that point. And if she really wanted, you could get a nice Nissan Figaro. They're expensive now, probably between 12 and 15. A really nice one is upwards of 20 grand. But... I'm telling you, I drove the Figaro. I've driven the Soar. The Soar doesn't really do it for me. I can this. see that. This is roomy. This is fun. This is roomy. Sit down. I like the bolstered seats. That just, it <laughs> screams need for speed. Um, so when you're really getting into those corners. Well, it's know. got a little bit of body Ow. roll. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> you said it's roomy. It's not as roomy as Mike made it seem. <laughs> Well, I mean, there's, Mike is there's short. it's got top <laughs> top to bottom roominess, not left to right. Randy's got a little width to him. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm girthy. It's not all, it's not all about girthy. the height. That's okay. It. Wow. Yeah, I could see myself riding this. 140. Okay. So that's this kilometers. That's kilometers. kilometers. Yeah. So I did it, it red lines at 9,500, oh. uh, I think. Wow. Ooh. Yeah. That is a seriously high want, revving little engine. I will find a battery jump pack somewhere. We could start one of these things. They are really fun. Oh, I'd love to And hear when it. the gas prices were ungodly high, I kid you not, this was my back and forth car around town. You drove I, this? Yes, I took it on the highway once. <laughs> I, I drove the other one. This this is the this was the nicer of the two. Which one? This one? No, that the, one? the other that one. one. The other one's a little pimped out. This one's got some aftermarket. It's got the muffler. You see the muffler back there? Oh. Okay. So oh, someone wow. pimped this one out. They pimped uh, this out in Japan? Yes. Okay. Well, and here they got a hell of a race scene out there. So, you know. <laughs> Let's see. Does this? Oh, there's a lizard that was living in. That's normal stuff. You, you, yeah. You're not I had a Corvette that. that came from Florida that came with lizards. and. So this one is the nicer of the two. Ooh, is that a cup holder? Uh, I don't know what that's all. I, yeah, it is a cup holder. I, 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 I never understood. I don't. Uh, I wouldn't. <laughs> carbon fiber? Yeah, Ford like an insert. Wheel? It looks like a Ford insert there. That's... <laughs> And that one was, uh, there's also a turbo timer on it down there. What? Yeah, see that little module, oh, yeah, a turbo yeah, yeah. timer. A tur I, I'm not kidding you, I drove the heck out of this thing. We got it home, it's so funny, this, I, I think I ended up sticking it down finally. But this came, popped out of place, see how it's a little loose? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. It pops up, and when I'd be driving down the street, it'd go bah, 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 on the hood. Wow. These are fun. How do you open the, is it right here? Is this the hood? Uh, yes. Yep, there you go. Oh, I love the clear headlights. It rubs the fender a little bit. Yeah, you know, it's no big deal. Look at the little what a cute little intercooler. Turbo four cylinder, man, and a tiny can. little. It's just amazing that these cars, and this is only, you know, if you think it's got 130,000 kilometers on it, or some, is somewhere around the line. 80, 90,000? Something. What is that? Something. I think, let's see, I think this has 130 kilometers. They, they both had very similar miles. I mean, for, and they're from 90 something. They hardly have Teeny any miles on them. tires. Yeah, too. 15s or 13s 13, or 13s. Yeah. Wow. It's a, it's a Japanese Fiesta. 
It is. Old school Fiesta, yeah, old not school. the new stuff, the old school Fiesta. And I'll bet it gets crazy gas mileage. Actually, well, I mean, it's it's okay. <laughs> but you can't keep your foot off the floor. It's so much fun. And right. it's, it's relatively slow, but yes. like, it's not super, super, super slow, you know? These, this is a fun car. As a matter of fact, I have, Zach and I keep talking about it. Like, if we want to just do something really fun, this is fun. He likes doing it. He's really creative when it comes to paint. We've got some color changing flakes. So you put down like a base black. Oh. And so that this would be the perfect car to do it because those flakes are, first of all, we're experimenting with something. Yeah. So we don't know how it's going to turn out. And this needs paint anyway. Oh yeah. This is worse than it was when I, when I uh, got it. Yeah, it's but it's little... flaky, but it was already, the clear was already done on it, as was the clear done on this one. This one looks better though. Yeah. Because they, it's done flaking, it's, it's gone. They've got, both of them have like good and bad points. That one's missing a, well, I think it's got a glove box somewhere in there, but it's not where it's supposed to be. Anyway, these are the coolest, possibly the coolest cars I have out here. You started with a good good one. I, I think, I think I'll, I'll take them. All right, well, yeah. it's gonna be a little bit more than 3,650 bucks though. Oh, okay, well, I mean, you gotta, you gotta make a dollar or two. So, yeah, so 3,652. Okay, for both so, of them. Well, and then whatever I paid the importer cards? and whatever I did that, you know, I, I gotta make need, some. I don't even need a credit check. I got, I got, I got a credit card. Let's I'll sell see. you an av I will extend a warranty on them because they're <laughs> Japanese, they're not gonna break, <laughs> but I'll charge you like the same price for the warranty. My question is on the warranty, who's the mechanic? Because uh, if it's you, no thank you. What's the name on the tires? <laughs> Ling Long. Mr. Dunlop is, <laughs> Mr. Is, is, is the mechanic. <laughs> yeah, I can just make up a name because you're not going to need it. These things fire right up, I guarantee you. Spoken like a it. true car salesman. Seriously. So you when missed we, your calling, man. When we got these off the, the trailer, um, well, we got, went, got them in Jacksonville and the concourse was going on. Rich yeah. was in town and like he had Steven and Alex. And we packed in one of these and drove all around the island I all saw weekend. That. That's what we, this is I what, did. I had my pickup and the trailer, but why, you don't want to drive that around the island. This is what you want to drive around the island. We went everywhere in these. The batteries were dead as a doornail, so we had to jump them every single time. But we also not only just jumped them, we did the clutch, you know, the roll and the clutch. Oh, yeah, know? yeah, push yeah. starting. And it works. Push starting it, jumped it. All right, Mike, I'm going to tell you, be careful. Not me, just Mike, but oh. those guys, oh, those, yeah. Yeah. okay? Mm -hmm. Sometimes they like to hide. Look, at, watch the, the door handles that are like this. Yes. I okay. like to hide in there, so just be okay. careful. And Specifically, the gas, the gas caps. yeah, the Domino's car is the one to watch out for. That's the last time I got stung was the Domino's car. <laughs> yeah. I got stung in more than one way with that. I, I, thing, but that's, a, <laughs> that's, that's a, another. That's another story. Yeah. So okay, this is really more along the lines of what I'm used to. This is uh, it's almost done. You know, people give me some some um, some interesting comments about not finishing projects, and say. this is proof of that. Yeah. And we should really get it finished because Zach did a good job. It needs a little bit of a cut and a polish, but this is a brand new pearl uh, orange paint job. You can see what it's going to look like yeah. a little bit there, but it still needs a cut and a polish. Otherwise, this is triple stage. It took him a oh, little wow. bit of time, and I should have just gave him gray. I feel bad about it because Zach really, <laughs> I this beat Zach up over this. This not an easy job to do then. And he nailed it still. He did a good job. And uh, again, I feel, yes, it was a pain in the neck and it took some time, but it's, it's here. It all just Baking needs Baking in the Florida sun. Yeah, that's, that's what you gotta do for yeah. at least, you know, six, eight months yeah, you, after you get a paint job. Dry. Yeah. yeah. So otherwise we got the interior going a little bit here. I bought these seat covers off, oh. of, um, off of a Facebook marketplace for, how much was that? Were they oh, like 200 dude, bucks or don't something? Don't say that. I just bought the actual Roush stage three seats and they cost me twelve hundred dollars for my sea mustang yeah no two hundred dollars they were like a couple hundred bucks and they came with the foam the oh, brand new wow. foam with the heavier bolsters so this car is going to be really nice oh it's yeah it's got a um it's got long tube headers it's got the hearse shifter and this was a beat to heck the fender was smashed in this was a repo like junker uh, and it runs great the transmission had the grind i put a whole new reman transmission in it and all I got to do is literally roll it in there and do some assembly. It's on almost it. done. I know. And from a distance, I said, God, those wheels. And then I walked up to it and I realized that I just called Shelby wheels hideous. 
You're going to admit to that? I am going to admit to it. I'm going to own that. Those are Carroll Shelby wheels. I don't yeah, know what I, you're thinking. Yeah, I, I saw that. This car's a little bit of a hodgepodge. we got Roush um, interior, Shelby wheels, her shifter. But that's what a Mustang's all about. It's the best of everything. Right? It's all and encumbersome. So the idea was behind, again, this was, I like to do budget projects. So everything was a budget. We found that on Facebook Marketplace. This is the seat covers. These Shelby wheels, they're actually, you're wearing a Holly shirt. I don't know if you knew, Carroll Shelby wheels is owned by Holly. And know. when I was looking through their website, some aftermarket mods on this, I noticed that these were on like super sale. These wheels were <laughs> less than a couple hundred bucks a piece. Oh, I think they were 150 a piece or something. Legit wheels yeah. for a couple wow. hundred bucks a piece. Now, here's the thing. Like they had them in different colors. And so certain colors were sold out. These weren't. And so we got, you know, I went with a really high quality tire as well. But we won't talk about yeah. that. We're just, Lex, let's focus on Lex these beautiful Lex. Shelby wheels of 20s. And uh, I actually do I'm, like them. I didn't, I thought they stood out too much from, uh, we were on the other side where the nice stuff is, well, nicer stuff. We were over there and I saw these, these wheels were just like, they are like a they diamond. They are big yeah. and they're, they're loud, but. Up close though. I think they, they kind of good. fit. We're going for a little bit of a loud look and you know, some of the stuff that this is totally not worth doing anybody thinking about doing it. It's got the boss intake manifold. You fell for that? Yeah, that was a, that's like a <laughs> old Ford trick. They get you because yeah, it's it, cheap until yep. you got to actually install it. Yeah. So got the boss manifold and uh, well, then I had to good. buy another several hundred dollars worth of this or that then it fitted and yes. it's still not fitted. And it doesn't make any more power, no. supposedly, than no. factory either. I think you might lose cool. some torque. You may gain a couple <laughs> horsepower, but you lose like 10 foot pounds of torque. Or... You gain two horsepower, lose 20 foot pounds yeah, of that's, torque. That's, like... Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, this needs, I told you, cut polish, a little assembly, and we got ourselves a really kind of just fun budget project. I paid whatever, 7,800 bucks for it. Between everything, there's probably another three grand in parts and then sweat equity into it. So, for that much, it's a Coyote Mustang with a stick shift. With a stick shift that's right, brand right. new MT82, basically completely rebuilt. So I already have one, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna buy this one because I, I literally have a 600 horsepower well, version of this. And I could beat your Lamborghini all day with my Mustang. I'm sure. Probably not. But no. <laughs> oh, oh. If Mike wants to drive this one home, Mike, there you go. We, I, uh, we're you, gonna need some parts. So though. tell me, do you know anything about cutting and polishing, or no? Nope. Nothing. Okay. Nope. I won't ask you then. E exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I need a little guidance. So let me know in the comments. I mean, again, this is just after a fresh paint job and we just need to figure out what's the best. I have all these different polishes and I don't, I don't know how to do the pads. That's my problem. This is where I get stuck. I have the three, two, one, make it really easy right. with 3M. Yeah. I just don't know which pads to use. Yellow, I've blue, done it, but gray. I'm afraid yeah. of burning yeah. through yeah. and ruining. You gotta be careful. That's the other part. That's why I send it to a guy who, <laughs> who does that stuff. If I burn through this paint after Zach spent, well, oh, he dude. spent, he spent, like he he recently painted another car for me, and he I don't know this for a fact because I wasn't there, but I think leisurely took some time and did it in his spare time and had fun with it because it was the same color, you know, whatever. Yeah. And he and it was a product that he's also used before. This one he did it. And here's the this, this short version of it. This is a pearl, and when you paint a pearl like this, you have to paint at the length of the car. So every panel matches, because if you use a little bit more base, one shade's gonna be a little, you know, and the oh. pearl set a certain, so you really gotta paint the whole side of the car, and then blend that into the hood all in one shot. Well, Zach is like a real body shop where he takes every panel, so all the fenders are off, the doors, the this, the that, the bumpers, he paints it and he gets it and it's four different shades of orange. <laughs> and I'm like, and he goes, just send me the same orange again. I'm going, um, Zach, I feel really bad. You should know I'm going to get it. And he did. I will give him credit. He stuck through it, but that car got painted a couple times. And I, I, I feel absolutely horrible about it. I really genuinely do. Next time I'm going with the regular metallic orange. Yeah, you know? forget the pearl. But he it's did it. It's a beautiful car though. It, when it is polished, you know, it's gonna, I think the paint's gonna scream yeah. on it, you know? You put a front end on it. Yeah. And scoop, you know, the little inserts and everything. And yeah, it, it'll be a, a mean looking car. It came already with the aftermarket hood. I like so, the hood. So, you I know, like it, it, was a, it was a great bones car. It looked awful, ground yeah. the gears, but the engine runs amazing. I'm gonna have full exhaust, everything. and. I just have to finish it. That's, it that's lower. I think it does have a little lower yeah. to it. And of course the wheels are bigger, so that fills in the gap. Yeah. yeah. 
real. Mine's yeah. lowered and mine sits higher than this. Okay. Yeah, this one, was, and, it, and it rides good too. I did think I see a spring that was a different color. You know, Ford springs are just black, so. Yeah. And then there's the 335. I love this car. I feel genuinely terrible that I've left it out here because this was given to me by a really nice guy. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you saw the video. I did. But it's one of my favorite stories. There's a, there's a lot of stuff that's not in that video that we can talk about off. Why does my phone keep going? I'm an unprofessional jerk so for mine, doing this. Mine is not off either. Here, let me but do nobody that. calls me, so. So, okay. Yeah, Scott is Scott Bennett is the gentleman, and he emailed me right at like kind of an interesting time in my life. And I kid you not, he was in the same area that I was flying up to. This is total coincidence, dude. Like, I... It sounds so made up, but I was going within 15 miles of where he lived and worked within 48 hours of his email to me. Like, hey, I have this car. I took it to the dealership. They offered me 1500 bucks. I have taken care of it. I've serviced it at the dealer, and I'm not about to get had. All right? That was his email. That was the summary of his email. And I'm going, this guy, what does he want, what does he want in return? You know, $10,000 or something, you know, because it, it's a nice 335. We sat it out here because this got freaking stuck. And then yes. I bought the new parts, and of course, I, I didn't realize the hood cable comes in two pieces. So I only bought one piece of the hood cable. <laughs> so this time I went to FCP Euro, the only place to get the right part that I is agree. going to fit one time. Yep. And I bought the BMW, give me the whole shebang, and I have the cable that's sitting in my garage. I have everything OEM to make sure this latches. And then once that's there, this car now runs, drives, has downpipes, has the tune, and I... I drove it actually in a video late last year, once all put together, and it runs, man. It's great. It runs great still, because Scott really, you know, took care of it. And, I, and I'm obviously doing the exact opposite. Yeah. So. Yeah, you're you're destroying it. <laughs> yeah. All those aftermarket parts aren't good for it. Yeah. Well. No, yeah, I'm kidding. I, I had a... one. It was uh, it was insanely quick. For, they are, for they what be, it is. Those uh, are the, how these move? No, what <laughs> happens is the cows. The, yeah, the cow came the up, cows, rubbed up against They need it. something to <laughs> scratch, scratch their back on. So this and is so a, 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 a rear a, scratcher. A, a cow scratcher. scratcher, yeah. And you'll notice a little, <laughs> they like to lick the mirrors and stuff like oh, that. And okay. Yeah, they're, that polishes out. So Randy, this is a good candidate, but I can't sell it. I've always said I cannot sell this car because someone gave it to me. So we're trying to figure out something So you could just it. give it to me. I could. That seems fair. That seems fair. All right, we'll talk about it. Yeah. Later. Let's look. <laughs> no, I mean, it could be. But then you got to do something. Oh, look, yeah. It this works. works it works. Lovely. This That's... works great. There you go. I don't yeah. think you're supposed to do that to people's cars, Mike. <laughs> uh -oh. Okay, I like this car. What's one that of, thing? That is one of my favorite cars that he's done. This well, one? Or hasn't done. Hasn't done. Yeah. 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 I, I, I don't know why. All right, then I need to get this to you. You need to figure out how to get it to you. We'll, we'll talk well, about the called, logistics. It's called driving it. No, you I will, you, you, you that's the easy it. part, okay? Oh, okay. This, this is, is a Lexus ES300. Gia. G GS. No, no, no. SC. 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 That's right. What am I thinking? But but not with the engine. And also, the, the SC300s typically don't have that many leaves in the yeah. car. They usually get driven. <laughs> And this one is a 300, but it's got twin turbo. That's right. From Toyota. I forgot about that. Yeah. It's right-hand drive. It's got a brand new used battery in it. That's okay. That's a, that's a sharp looking new battery. Though. By the way, that's not my line. That's a, you ever heard a guy say that? A that's brand not, new used battery? The guy that says it knows what I'm talking about. Okay. Shout out to you guy <laughs> out there. Um, brand new used battery and the hood also now does not want to let. Anyway. It, it works. Um, sure, I'll take your word for it. But this one runs great. This one has really low miles, if I remember. I don't, maybe it's got 100 kilometers or something. Yeah. And the interior, considering it's been out here a little while, I took the door panel off because that's the problem. There's one bad regulator. And I remember we looked, and the door's freaking Oh, no. Off. Okay, you will never have noticed that that window was open because it usually sits like that, okay? For how many years? No, it hasn't been set. I'm telling okay. you, we took that regulator out. I don't know. I'll tell you it was yesterday, but you know. Yeah. You Grass know. does grow fast in Florida, though. So this interior, oh, look, Mike's got it. Mike knows oh. how to open the door. Oh, there you go. That's why it's locked. There we go. Perfect. Ooh, it's a little hot in there. But you can see, hot no. in Florida. The interior is freaking mint, oh, it Randy. Is. I'm not it kidding really you. It really is. 
We only took the door off because the regulator's bad. And it doesn't smell like the cars I'm used to looking at. No, this one is unbelievably good. clean. And this it's one nice. that I've been trying to figure out how I am going to... I, I can't... This is something that a lot of people like. And it would... This because would be it's a, cool. It's it's It looks like a Lexus, but it's not exactly. It's totally... And, and when they see you driving on the wrong side of the car, it's like, what is this yeah. guy doing? How what is that, this? How, does it, how do you know what lane to go in when you're driving You know what? It be, honestly, the first time I ever got in a right-hand drive car, yeah. it was like second nature. It's really yes. not hard at it all. Doesn't, yes. It doesn't affect you? Uh -uh. I like it better. No, you could drive it... Closer to the curb, you can... I, I feel like you can see better not to drive over the curb. Yeah? Yeah. And mine, the one I drove was a manual. <laughs> in the curbs? Yeah. No, I'm, that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> but on a stick shift, driving with your left hand through the gears, that's a little Weird. that's a little different. But okay. it's really it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, wow. the reason why this one was a bit more inexpensive because it's the auto. Yeah. But yeah. It, it does have you know a lot of these came with just a regular inline six. This one has a twin turbo. Yeah. Um, and and then it's it's the most desirable option as far as I know. Versus they had a V8. I know they had a V8 here in the States. I feel like yeah. it might've been over there. Maybe, maybe not. But uh, this is, in, I mean, you can see the condition. It doesn't even wear. No. Uh, not, it's unbelievable. Not the steering wheel, nothing. Yeah, so She's that's in. a cool car. And people do notice you're on the other side of the road when you drive it. It's really funny. This was another reason. In, in Japan, when you're buying at the auctions, they have an auction grade, okay? So this is very similar to ours. Based on the miles, it goes zero to five, I think. So like a five is a really nice grade. And, there's, zero, and uh, there's no zero. It becomes R at that point, which is rebuilt or reconstructed. Okay. This was an R, and it was because the quarter was replaced at one time, I believe, or it was repaired. You know, you see. There's a little damage, nothing that can't well, be. Well, we, uh, the reason why these paint things are there is because this was actually pushed in a little bit, and I had a PDR guy come out just to pull it out mm. before we did body work. Mm -hmm. And when he pulled it, the cheap paint just ripped You right did a off. video about that, didn't you? Yeah, I, and I, I told I, him, I, don't even worry about it, because, yeah. like, it's got to get painted. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, you could see someone swiped it a few times here yeah. and tried to put some touch-up on it. And I'm, I wanted the dents out from him because that's not my forte. As I told you before yeah. on other cars, it will look way more wavy if I try and fill that in. That's the right way to do it, and this is kind cool. of a nice car. That is really cool right there. Forward. Yeah, this is a, a unique car, and this was again. This was like shopping on Amazon at one in the morning. I saw this at the site, and I'm going, "Well, it started out. It was like 2,500 plus shipping, which would have equaled about four grand plus paying the importer and all that." So I'm going, "Man, 2,500 bucks? Were they crazy?" Then it dropped to like 2,200. I'm going, "Man, 2,200 <laughs> bucks? That seems like a lot of car." So I'm going, I email them, "Hey." What are you guys thinking? So what it is is a company that buys from the auctions and then they host other people's cars, just like you sell your cars yeah. at some auctions. And so they own this one and they're like, uh, we could go as low as 1800. I'm going, what? Where do I send them 1800 bucks? Plus it was like another grant. So it ended up being around three grand ship, maybe a little less. Uh, this was before the gas prices really got out of hand. So this was, and, and that's the it's problem. The second I posted on Instagram, I never even really did a video into this car until last year. I posted on Instagram years ago how much I paid everybody. I'll give you 3,200 right now. Yeah. I'll yeah. give you 3,400 well, yeah, right I'll bet. now. I'll bet. And it's like, I get, and you know what's funny is with the with all the, the enthusiast car, you know, hullabaloo, this is a, it could be a $10,000 yeah. car sitting here. Easy, I think. You look it up, the miles are relatively low, the condition is really nice, and all it needs is a real nice paint job. It's kind of a, it's kind of a, you know, whatever green color that came out of a lot of the old Hondas. I've never seen this. Me neither. Yeah. A rear. A rear it's not a hatchback. Wow. It's, it's. And, a, how cool is that? And it's got to look a nozzle. <laughs> to clean it. Yeah. That's crazy. And what's on the inside? Do you see that? Yeah. That. Like a texture. Yeah. Like a screen, like a sunscreen or something. Well, the defrosters are the lines. Okay. Yeah, it's something that's. This yeah. is an interesting car. Six disc it CD is. changer. Oh wow! I don't. I do have CDs. <laughs> I do. My uncle. I got brought his He's CDs. Whole, I do. I got stacks of CDs, man. Yeah. Yeah. This this could be the one. Man, you're getting or, me excited about these cars, Randy. So this is so. Some, whoa, there may be some new videos coming, guys. Yeah. <laughs> so, Stick around. Uh, Stick around. You might have some new content coming. <laughs> This is a work in progress. It didn't look like this when we got it, uh, but Sage has been hard at work. A 
Corvette. It, if it's a YouTube Corvette, it'd be an abandoned Corvette. The right. gentleman that owned right. it, uh, he had an electrical problem he couldn't figure out. And Sage, he would come out here because he's in school about one day a week just to like kind of look at what's going on. And his dream car is the C5 Corvette. This is it. And so when I told him that a guy had this for sale, he wanted half of probably what it's worth, but it has this naggy electrical issue. Uh, he was all excited. So I said, as long as you will put some time aside to work on it, because I mean, I love the car, I love the price, but I mean, you see what's going on out here. Yeah, I have too many yeah. things. So anyway, uh, Sage just cracked the code literally days ago and we'll show it on the video, but this car had every, like Randy said, easy bolt-on modification you could put on it. It had nitrous bottle in the back that was color matched to the car's paint. Mm -hmm. It has, I mean, I'll show you under the hood. You'll like this one. You will like this one. Oh, hold on, the hood's already open. What am I trying to do? Pop the hood. Here. By the way, this one comes with complimentary Cheetos popcorn okay. if you do buy it. So I might, I might have to get this one then. Of course, Sage is leaving some of my stuff out here. But anyway, look at the guy put every single dress up. Wow. Look at these. This is chrome. Oh my goodness. The cowl's chrome. There's a brand new Optima red top battery in it. There's where the nitrous goes in. I mean, just oh, every boy. single dollar he could put into this car on, you know, dress up oh, and Lord. bolt on, he did. So. <laughs> And a really nice guy named Tony, he started watching videos and he goes, and he saw the black Corvette video, which is, you know, as a car you guys probably not interested in, but uh, he saw nah. a black Corvette and he said, you did such a good job on that. I would love to see you fix this one. And of course I did the really honorable thing and said, I ain't gonna fix that car, I'll send him to Sage. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, but I'm not. No, Sage not. is doing he's all the work kidding. on it. He's not kidding. <laughs> well, I do like a C5. I do. I don't know. You know, I feel like I've, I'm moving up in the world. I've got an Aston Martin now. So is real is Corvette really even something? Hold on, hold on. Before you decide, at? look at the interior of this thing. Mind you, I. Oh yeah, that's. Yeah. Um. These seats he had reupholstered. I do like that. Says Corvette. I mean, he they did they did whoever they did, did a it, decent did job. A good job. I like the center console. You can't see with all the stuff. Do you see the? You see if I can push this. Do you see the checkered flag? Oh, I on thought it? that was something laying That's on it. That's a checkered flag. No way. Yeah. That's I I really like that touch, no wow. joke. And I mean it just these are Look the at the gauges. Yeah, he nitrous did, boy. He did everything, man. Stock Sage. engine with a Hey, this is nitrous. video proof. I always get, give Sage crap that he takes my tools and doesn't put them back. Oh, that's Look, it's rusted. all rusty now. So that's <laughs> uh, my tools aren't normally that rusty. They they're lightly, but not that bad. Um and he's always like, no, man, it's you. This is proof, Sage. I have not touched this car. Look, he's, he's, he's mixing J.B. Weld in the back the trunk lid, too, Sage. That's Sage. Come on. He's going to fit. Okay, it whatever. sands right off. Sands right so, off. So work in progress. He's doing, I mean, look, he's doing his own body work and stuff. I give him credit. And this will look really sharp when it's all done. It was in relatively good shape. You know, body on yeah. a Corvette's nice because it doesn't have dents in it. And stuff. No, just cracks. So that's right. Cracks can be filled. <laughs> this one didn't even come with many of those. Few That's holes a, in the front. It's a Batman looking exhaust going on back yeah, here. Yeah, full exhaust from the from the manifolds back, man. So like I said, Tony did a, a job on this car and we're gonna redo it. Okay. So what else? All right. Well, there's something back uh, you don't want that crap back there. What? Yeah, oh, oh the SRT? Yeah. We got take, some we're I'll, going to the more expensive section. Come here. This is the more expensive. More expensive. There's okay. a couple behind the uh the the entryway there. We won't call that a farm gate. Okay, oh, okay. we'll just call it an okay. entryway. And the then entryway. we got, see that's where the real high end stuff Ooh. is, okay? And then we got a... Is that SRT. a Porsche over there? Yeah. Behind the, behind the red car. Oh, that is a, uh, a I don't cool know what color that. combo. Huh. All right, we'll get, we'll look at that in a second. <laughs> oh, don't get There's the cows. Here. There's the cow. There's the cattle. I would, the for a while, yeah. I, I was thinking it was all a facade. They didn't no, even they exist. No, they exist. They're, they're here. This is cool, man. Uh, yeah. I overpaid for it because I bought it during the peak of all the stuff. And this was one of those accidental, you leave in a, a proxy bid you shouldn't leave in. I didn't notice it because it had the old style condition report at the auction. And so I thought it was just like, eh, it's as is, got 95,000 miles. No, engine issues, trans issues. 
And I'm going, oy vey, I just got screwed. Luckily, I just, I would start it up for you. I just took the battery out of it to put in my pickup, but it starts up, seems like it's, there's no knock or nothing. I drove, I almost, the second I put my foot to the floor, the first time I got it started, I, it turned sideways. I almost put it right into a ditch. This thing is scary. That's oh, typical oh, oh, oh. for Viper anything. So and the yeah. trans issue is something that maybe you've experienced if, because I know you bought the same era yeah. of Dodges before and Chrysler's, the shifter, it sometimes doesn't want to go into one of these and there's like an adjustment under the so i think that's the okay, trans yeah. issue and i think they just mark it to save themselves and thank god because it's it's far from perfect but actually this paint's in de decent condition i think this truck was repainted at a good shop at one time and i'm just i'm trying to get it crappy again so i have actually something to do in video yeah but yeah. you could see it sat out in the sun a while leather's pretty beat and i tried putting some some conditioner on there and it didn't Windows really do much yeah. How in the heck did that happen, no, man? No, it oh. seems to be a... Here we go again. These windows don't even look at... <laughs> that one might not be broken. I don't anyway, think it's broken. <laughs> I can't believe these darn windows, man. They keep getting me. So anyway, otherwise, you know, besides that soaking wet carpet, you know, it's really a nice truck. It is now, a good looking truck. No, the, the, the back is... And I have all the parts pretty much to, to fix it. I knew you were going to catch that, Mike. Yeah, that, yeah. you might want to, nice before feature. you get on the interstate, yeah. definitely, uh, you know, some panel bond. He's got plenty of that in his uh in Yeah, his that I'm stuff's sure. the pro inflation's a pain in the neck, Randy. You know, uh, panel bond's too expensive. I've <laughs> Okay. I've been, silicon now? I've been, I don't know. I go to the dollar store. They got this nice stuff. Okay. You know? But there it is. Look, it's, this, this is another a, abandoned truck. Seriously, this, look at how worn this thing just sat in the sun for a while. You could totally do an abandoned view of a video on this. Yeah. It, yeah. I have the new scoop. Mm -hmm. um, this is impossible to get one that says Viper in it. I couldn't find it. You can find a generic one that's just black, yeah. which is whatever. Those, you know, we'll ref, I, I want to refinish those. They'll look real nice. It'll be real easy. And otherwise, it runs. I'm hopeful that there's no major, like I said, I, I looked at all this. It doesn't, I've hooked up an OBD reader specifically because I was worried about the engine issue. There's not a single misfire on the misfire counter. So I'm going, okay, if it runs that good, it, it then it's, have like an fine. engine issue. They literally listed it because it has, the, the main thing this car has is leaks out of the power mm. steering lines and the oil cooler lines, and it has both of them. Yeah, well. So they mark themselves they and i got lucky that i didn't get more screwed because i totally didn't notice that and it was sold on like you say a red light so i love red lights. did i ever look at this i don't even know how's the oil look randy don't look milky or nothing no look no. at that that's solid this yeah. is one you could take home today if the price is right okay and it might make it this one it might make it that's do you it, throw in a battery or do i have to go to the parts store no i can find you one okay. that you'll have to jump that's what, yeah. Dude, this thing is That's no fine. joke jumping either with that 10 cylinder engine. I, I, <laughs> to get it off the guy's truck, I had to hook up two jump packs. Ooh. And well, what happened, the reason why, this, I put in a new ground cable. The ground new. cable was, was broken in two pieces in aftermarket because he must have had a stereo or something in it, whoever had it. And so that was the problem. But this is kind of cool because. I like this. You had the TRX. This is like an old school, great value TRX. Yeah. The great only value TRX. Thing, That's, I, yeah. I, like, I see engine issues. I, I told the audience about engine issues, trans issues, right? But the thing that concerns me most is getting this freaking fixed. That's missing. And I don't want to get an aftermarket. No. You know, this is nice. This is a factory bumper. I'm just hoping someone can. Zach, that Zach says someone, he's going to kill me. <laughs> that's because that's like a puzzle piece if you had the piece you'd be golden yes yeah but i don't have the piece that'll be interesting to recreate <sighs> someone could do it close it, i was thinking close. about just taking like a piece of paper Cardboard and drawing like something. a snake tongue on it and just sticking it out right there right oh. <laughs> that's what i was thinking it would make sense that would work so i was thinking if you took some cardboard yeah and you just rough draw you know stick it under there and make a template draw an outline and yeah. then you could form one for yourself you could make one out of i mean i don't know what you make fiberglass out of. is then fiberglass yeah. yeah 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 i mean if you kick this too it feels pretty you get it close pretty you know solid. close I enough like the tongue idea it would the tongue would, is kind of funny. yeah is it mater yeah yeah the mater has one yeah tell mater yeah yeah, yeah. 
Okay, so this, this is one, this is one. This is cool, right? This is one to consider. I think I like this better than anything I've seen so far. And by the way, any vehicle you buy out here, Randy, comes with a complimentary oh. no complimentary <laughs> bottle of block seal. You keep sealer. block seal in your pocket. In my pocket. <laughs> okay, because I'm ready. I'm ready to close the deal today. Every vehicle oh comes with this. Now, I don't include the installation. That's an extra charge. Okay. But it's, uh, the pouring of the yeah. contents of, yeah. okay. So, huh. I'll take you back here where I've I got, this is, a, go so, you realize you're, <laughs> you're seeing, yeah, this is a Florida dealer. This is, this is typical okay. Florida dealer stuff. Okay. All right. Look, you're seeing a lot of exclusive looks. Uh, this car back here is one that it strikes a lot of emotions in me. I don't know what to do with this thing. Well, which one? Well, <laughs> what the, happened to the topper? Okay, so as usual, GoPro overheated. Not a big deal. This is why nobody uses them. It's because this was <laughs> so hot. Yes, that's, that's, I, it, it is a hot looking car. You still, you yeah. got so close. This is a really rare color. And it's a really rare condition for a modern Ferrari too. <laughs> Um, you don't say. But it, it'll polish. I parked it specifically under this shade. Randy, yeah. leave that there. That There's comes something to... growing. That's a tree. There's a baby tree starting to grow in the Aww. air scoop. So That's nice. This is, uh, this is a nice car, actually. This is one that, you know, if the credit checks out, I think you could take it. Well, I don't know how far it will make it, but it, you could take it <laughs> today, uh, just out of here. <laughs> okay. okay. Do me a favor. Yeah. Yeah, if the price is right. That's right. Yeah. The price is right on this one. Okay, okay. $69,690, we'll take this home today. <laughs> that is 20,000 under the <laughs> average value of a Ferrari 360. Does, does that average value take into consideration sitting under a tree Listen, baking in the sun for how many years? let me tell you something about this. Years? This is how most Ferraris are kept, but oh, you'll yeah, never yeah. ever hear the truth from Ferrari okay. owners. Ferrari owners are the biggest BSers, including me, okay? I've, yes, I've learned. Yeah. And uh, this one, unfortunately, is mine. But this is something that, man, it's got a little bit of a story to it. I got a little bit of footage or maybe a lot of footage on it. And I'm not quite sure what to do with it yet. So for for those reasons, I'm out. Okay. Ever seen that on Shark Tank? I'm out. Tank? Yeah, they all Shark say Tank. that. They, they could literally give one reason. This is a, <laughs> They'll be like, you know, I don't think you've had enough years of experience. And for those reasons, I'm out. Like, you know, like they had to cut the edit. And it's really funny. It's like they, they'd be like, you know, I just don't like you. And for those so reasons, I'm out. I'm out. But, well, I'm in. I'm in. I'm ready. I can tackle this. What's it need? Need anything? Is it ready to just um, clean it up, hit the road, and good might, to go? It might need a whole new drivetrain. Well, that's no big deal. But, uh, yeah. Besides that, it's, a, it's a solid car. Does, does it One come owner, with a bumper? What's up? Do, do I get a bumper with it? What, yeah, I got a bumper. Toe strap? I got a bumper. I, that does not include installation. Okay, but this, can I have this? Because I'm probably going to need that. Yeah, but you got to find the other end to it. Oh, uh, I know where it's at. It's over by, it's in the other field. Okay. Yeah, and there's a bunch of parts. It's probably over there somewhere. Perfect. You know? Okay. And if you buy this day for $69,690, <laughs> I will throw in one entire hay bale. We'll not split it on you. Uh, in Oklahoma, these are very expensive. Yeah. Because we ran into a bit of a hay problem, and uh, you can get a lot of money for this stuff. It's 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 wrapped tightly. So this is fresh. Look, it's not discolored. I no? just got these delivered for prospective clients, literally like 48 <laughs> hours ago. Are you talking about the cattle? Well, those are part of the clients. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So we we get a Ferrari and a bale of hay for sixty nine thousand. And did you ever think you'd see the day where you might see this thing in person, Randy? I know. No, it's it, been a long time. It's it's got a little bit of uh, you know moss or whatever that stuff is that grows on it. Yeah. But otherwise, you know, it's in a condition. It is in a condition. It is in a condition. Yeah, yeah. And I think a pressure wash, this would be funny. You know, remember when detailing videos, I mean, they still are kind of. They still do. The, the really hot yeah. detailing and abandoned dominoes. Look, could you imagine if I write dominoes in the title? I might get a mm. couple calls, but it might be worth it if it gets. I think if you came out here and just washed your cars, <laughs> I think you could have a whole series on I have an entire here. detail channel out here. <laughs> I really, I really think you could do something there. I do. But this one made its way out of the barn. It was parked in the barn for the longest time. And uh, it's still complete. Still got the oven in it. And I used it for a little... Oh, I got to watch. Oh, boy. It's just... been a while since that door has been open. But look how clean... Look, this is the, the trend with the cars. Mike can attest to this. 
that they're pretty clean <laughs> on the inside, the you know? They're great, yeah. They're so, great for storage, too. So I went and I, this is a modified DXP. I always forget this, but these cars only came with one seat in them. Yeah, yeah. And I yeah. wanted to, this is a party. There's a people. There's a party vehicle. Party so I, oh, oh, was there? <laughs> yeah, there did you is. Get, did you get it? No, no, no. Oh. I'm, there's nothing in oh, there, they, but it's. They, it. I killed him. Oh, you saw it. But yeah. Oh, he warned us earlier. Well, he said you got to watch oh, for you those. Felt you feel yeah. the honeycomb in there. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. look, something lived in here at one point. I, I guess. Yeah. Oh no. Whew. What is that Just right there? A heart attack. I think a, a rodent might have been in here at one time. Uh, yes. Yep. Man. I've got lots of experience with cars that had rodents. I wonder if it will start up even this car. Of oh. course it will. It's a Chevy. <laughs> I can't believe it. How does a rodent though, Randy? Because look at my other cars. I haven't found oh, any wow. rodents yeah. in the others. How did it make its way in there? I don't. That's yeah, how do they get in when the doors are closed? That it's a good question, the right? The vents, but the ventilation it system? Could be the vents, but yeah. It could, they could have got through the warming oven. You know, that's the, the modification. That yeah. I'm kidding. God, I, if I, I could know. only ever own a, a DXP car. Hey, there were a it's... couple that came. I gotta be careful because. Oh, man, those darn. Um, I'm gonna get the detailer out here to, uh, you know, make this one yeah. shiny again. Yeah. This one's not for sale just oh. because I can't. I'm not allowed to sell it. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's for specific reasons. But why in the heck? Yeah, it's got coupons. So if you need a coupon to Domino's, you can have those. From from how many years ago? Are they still valid? No way they're valid. <laughs> hey, look Look at the sign. 2015. Look at the belts. These expired. Is that a timing belt? That is a timing. There's multiple timing belts. Oh, those belts. are from the Ferrari, oh. yeah. I stuck them up there. Yeah. This car, man, I'm really <laughs> disappointed to see the rodent damage. Randy, edit that out, please, all right? <laughs> okay. yeah. Yeah, well, I'll get my... I mean, you saw the, the inside of that Ferrari had no rodent damage. It, they it, don't like those cars. Those are too nice. These, <laughs> yeah, this is like a humble home for. Yeah. Look at the freaking paint on the back. It's growing. It's, it's really, growing. It's, it's scaling. No, it's not. That's that's growing. Uh, that's a fungus. Oh, that is a okay. fungus. That's, yeah. Yeah. Well, I've always wanted to see this car in person, and I I followed the saga with it, and it was very enjoyable. I don't know what you went through, but from my end, it was. No, really let me fun tell you, this was the first and only car I've ever built, rebuilt. Yeah. Entirely, I yeah. finished the project. And you then, did. It was wrecked in the front. It was wrecked in the front, yeah. and then I parked it. Yep, that's... See, this is why I don't finish projects, guys, because <laughs> the other ones that I'm actively working on, I move them around from time to time. Okay. That's the trick. See, then nobody gets that. But, I, no, you know what? This was a, during a really interesting time, uh, and this obviously got some really kind of different engagement. <laughs> yeah. And it was well worth it. And it all stemmed from a viewer sending me the link to it. You know, it was so strange. I profusely thanked him after the fact through email, mind you. And uh, I just, I mean, when he sent me the link to this thing, I'm going, man, that's like super unique. And of course, at the same time, I bought a Corvette just so I was like keeping things interesting. I'm like, maybe people like Corvette. And not a lot of people watch Corvette, but some people watch this. And it just was kind of like interesting. The legal stuff, that's all silly. And the people it's that are silly. involved in yeah. it, they know it's silly. I agree. Okay. If it was sold this way, then you're the right well, owner as it is. And they'll learn. But you know they're coming out with the new pizza delivery vehicle. It's all electric. Oh, of course. Yeah. Got sure. my eyes on one of those. <laughs> at the. No, I'm kidding. I had enough of these. This There's not one that has come with a pizza oven in its sense. So forget it. Until yeah, I've looked. Yeah. I wanted one to drive. I was going to take it and, oh uh, yeah, I was yeah. going to take it out on the street. I was going to use it, but they take everything off of it They now. take everything off of them now, yeah. yeah. So. There was a couple that made them through, the, the, you know, slip through the cracks. Wow, someone parked that tractor close. But um, yeah, there are a couple that slipped through the cracks since, but I think they're kind of over it at this point. And uh, I say they, not, not this case, I think they're over the idea of them getting out in the public hands. And the funny thing is, is, I mean, the other, the second one I had had a, like a bunch of miles on it, fifty thousand maybe. But I, the one I saw that was completely intact had a hundred and twenty thousand miles on it. I don't know if it ever actually made it to auction. Mm -hmm. You know, because sometimes they disappear. Yeah. And there, you know, which car I really wanted that disappeared? It was a Red Bull car with thing, and it was at Copart, and I was very quiet about it. And it was there and there and there, and then one day it just went and disappeared. 
Oh, yeah, no. you've seen them. They got the big can. I've seen them. Yeah, it was the completely intact. Yeah. And you know what was at my local bar? This isn't very fun because it's just silly, but they had the Truly Nolan bug truck with the antennas on it at the <laughs> South Florida Copart. It's there right now. <laughs> All it is is a Nissan truck, though, with two little, yeah. like, yeah. they just take some dryer vent or something and they make yeah. some. But this is fun. This could use a cleanup and some love. It's only got 2,000 miles on it, Randy. But you can't sell it, so it doesn't do me any good. I cannot sell it to you. Uh, and I would never let this car go, I don't think. And this locks. That is a light. Oh, it's a light. It, it shines a pizza company's logo uh, on the ground oh. Oh. at night. And does this open or no? You, there's an electric remote and oh, it opens. Okay. And actually, that's funny that when I got it, because I think there must have been so many inquisitive people at the salvage auction, they were doing this on it and they broke it. So I went online and I found the actuator that was on the part that I took apart. And the company that sells the actuator, they never, they didn't make that actuator anymore, but they had one in stock left. It was like inventory no level, one. <laughs> and I called, I go, you got that? Yeah, we got one. I go, I'll take one. And I fixed it, thank God, because I don't know how, you would have to figure out a whole new actuator yeah. system. So Mike, please don't break well, the warming oven. <laughs> But the people were yanking on it and they broke it open and it's all it it what it is it should be operable depending on how bad the whatever got in there chewed on whatever mm -hmm. you know if you started them up and moved them around every now and then maybe that's the trick yeah maybe the rodents wouldn't say hey this is a great home that's a trick i gotta figure that out i don't know how to i don't know or you could just put mouse bait in them i'm curious if they're gonna to see. get in there anyway you might as well make sure they don't now i gotta come see back. what's under the hood and i'm kind of like please don't all right here we go Oh, yeah, uh, something lived in there. Squirrel. Uh, Squirrel lived in there. But, I mean, look at the wiring's all perfect, fine. cool, and it's nice. This is a pressure fine. washing away. And you from. left the battery disconnected, which is good, so. I, you know what? Now I know where to get a, a spare from. <laughs> I keep, I forgot about that one. <laughs> yeah, sorry, car. You're not going to have a battery for long. What are you going to start with this battery? A motorcycle? This thing. It's this a, is a perfect a, value <laughs> power. <sighs> For a value-based pizza company, yeah. you know? they got coupons. It's like six. It used to be six ninety-nine for inflation uh, before inflation. What is it? Twelve ninety-nine. Probably. Now? You know what happened? Yeah, you know who know created that. that? Yeah. Yeah. I, I do. saw him reading that Mike Pence audiobook. Oh. It was Mike Pence that created that inflation. We'll 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 tick off. We won't. We'll be politically incorrect and tick off nobody. We'll just take a shot at poor old Mike Pence, yeah. who like it's, nobody could care less about it's anymore. It's your best friend's fault, Mike. Yeah, I'm just. Well, okay, yeah. I'm just trying to learn. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, come yeah. in here. This is the real nice stuff. When I say nice, it also doesn't operate uh, 100% yet. Yeah, you know, I was wondering how long it would be before you finally got a lift. And I was so shocked I'm, when you, you got it. I'm mm -hmm. lucky. This is, I got the lift because the viewers, they demanded a lift. And right. let me tell you, people, I think, wrote Bempack. And they wrote them to the point where Bempack said, hey, you need a lift. I'm going, okay, if Ben Pack's telling me I need a lift. Then you need a lift. Then I need a lift, and I'm very grateful, and they came out here, and uh, I got a lift. Now, this was never meant to have a lift in the horse stall. Right. But yeah. the nice yeah. thing is, and the thing I talked about with my family when they put this out here, because they were not too keen on putting a lift here. I'm sure. I said, <laughs> when a garage is built, which one day it'll happen, and I hope it's sooner than later, because I need it. I love to, honestly, that pizza car, clean it up, put it away in yeah. place, you know? Um, when a garage is built, it's, you know, a nominal fee. The company comes back out. They will take this out, and they'll move it right down the street yeah. to wherever I you know, set up shop. So this is comp pretty reversible. You'll never know it was here. Yeah. You'll fill in the little fill places in the holes in the floor and, and, and let the horses come back, yeah. which they're yeah. not here anyway right now. But um, yeah, this is, this, we're in the middle of something really exciting, uh, putting a manual transmission in it. Gated? Gated manual transmission. And a guy named Dr. S developed a kit where you do not have to pull your transmission out of the car. And so, what? Be, well, it's like your Aston Martin. It's really a manual transmission, right? With, with an automated it. system. So all you're doing is pulling the hydraulic unit off of it and putting on what the factory did, and uses cables. It uses cables in a, in a here. And I shifter. actually have the manual actuator, I think, in here. On um, where did I put it? Right here. So I'll show you real quick. So what's normally on the car right now? That sits on top of the transmission. On the, the for me, it's on the side. Okay. Okay, but on the Aston, it's on the top. Yeah. I remember. So right now you got a bunch of hydraulic lines going to an actuator and it probably looks similar. The cover looks like this, but instead cables are going to run to this and it will 
Gotta be gentle because this is not cheap stuff, but here we go. You know? Yeah. Oh, oh listen to that click yeah. too. So basically, wow. you get a lot of stuff like you would from Ferrari. You get a tower that goes in the center of the car. It's a one-piece tower. You get this portion right here, which you got to imagine. The gentleman that made this kit basically re-engineered this from Ferrari, which is it's pretty incredible feat. And uh, he's offering it as a kit. And that kit, there's one other company that was doing it. Their kit cost thirty-five thousand dollars. It was in that's installed, so they install it for you. Their kit requires transmission removal. Say that they gave it to you, needs it, installed. He designed his to be compatible um, with this specific fluid, which is Pentos, and you could go to a, yep, a yep. store and buy it. But a specific hydraulic fluid, and you do not have to pull your transmission. The nice thing about the Ferrari is that everything's in place to install it. So like, it's very difficult. I don't know if your camera's gonna see it and it's dark in there. But like right here, I just ran this, is the line coming off of the master cylinder. The, the hole for the master cylinder was there. There's just a blocking plate right. from the factory. Right. Everything is there. These cars are all the same from the factory. Yeah. They either just stick one transmission or the other and the blocking plate. So it's literally like plug and play. I just put the line in the other day. Right now I've got some of the hoses. I, I bled them a bit so that it will be a little less messy when I take it apart on video. But that's the next thing, man. When you guys leave, I'm probably going to put this thing up in the air. Yeah, I'm right. going to take this. Here, I'll put it up a little bit. And then you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Is this the one that you messed up filling the oil on? Yeah. yeah. This is the first that was great. one Thank I bought. Thank you for that video. <laughs> Here, let me put this up. He put too much oil in it. Oh. And there, it was bad. It was, it was bad. Look at that exhaust. All right, I'm just going to put it yay high here. And maybe I should put it a little higher in here. Well, here, I'm going to make you crouch a little. That's come fine. On. If you come and look on that side, that's your whole entire actuator. Oh, that's it right there. And so you can see how much bigger it is because it's got the hydraulic lines yes. that run to it. And basically, you're eliminating that and just putting in a manual one. There's and then the cables are going to run to it. Yeah. So do you just, you just remove the old lines? You cut you them? Remove them? You no, you don't cut them. You unbolt them. And then this is why I put it yay high so you can see in this end. This is your whole entire F1 system. I, we can eliminate this from the car. These parts are worth thousands of dollars. Those lines themselves are probably worth a grand, just the lines. I mean, this is very expensive stuff that is saleable because the F1 systems need servicing or all the time. You know what, to be fair, <laughs> what, what breaks on them are seals because it's hydraulics, right. Yes. right? So yes, one seal breaks, but you go to Ferrari, they're not gonna just sell you a seal. No. They're gonna sell you some sort of service. And uh, I mean, this car's only got 20,000 miles, so knock on wood, it's in decent shape, but... New I timing can, belt. New, brand new, new time belts. New pulleys. Brand new clutch. I mean, I put a new coolant, which is really important, because I, I was telling you a story earlier about how the transmission coolers <laughs> can break on yeah. these cars. Very important. And uh, yeah, it's got all new gaskets. This car, people perceive as being a total pile of junk on video, and by the way, I keep it looking kind of like that, so it's fair, but... It's the most sorted out of all the ones I have. It's the one that is the nearest and dearest to me because I've spent so many years <laughs> dealing with it. And money? Uh -huh. uh, a, a little bit of money. Yeah. I've been, I mean, I spent some good money on it, but I feel very lucky. Like, I've, I know this car inside and out. That's how I got this one running the day I did. And this one yeah. is literally all torn apart because it's being cleaned. There's a convertible top there. Yep. And. Really what I needed was, when you have a Ferrari, you need a Ferrari workbench. And that's what this is. That's why I have the bumper for that car and this car. And uh, this has brand new fuel tank pumps. I have all the new hydraulic cylinders delivered. And, it, and I've got a special guest coming to help me put them in. Is there so, any other YouTuber, is there anybody that you've ever known that has this many exotic car? car no, just around. exotic yeah, cars sure. just floating around and... Mm -mm. Number one, a horse, a horse stall, yeah, with a lift, and then the rest of them are just scattered all yeah, throughout the, that's all throughout how the, it works. yeah. So that's the secret to success. I need to buy a bunch of cars and park them. In. Wait, I did that. It didn't work. It doesn't work with this. It doesn't work. 
What it is, he's a good voiceover guy. That's what it comes down to. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> you got these new, these new, this new generation. They like TikTok. They like. No, uh, I deleted TikTok. I don't even have it anymore. These, these, I like this color. I really a, like it's this color. What's cool? Let me see if there's a little bit of interior left. I, I don't. I'll be honest. I'm not a big fan of the color, but well, it will be nice. This is navy. Everything in the car is oh. navy. The seats are navy. The dash is navy. And you can see a big problem with these cars. The dash is peel up. Yeah. That one outside has a peel up dash. That one is pretty decent, but it's got a few little ripples. This dash is in damn good shape. It literally sat in a garage for seven, eight years. Now it's sitting in a horse barn for another seven, eight years. But <laughs> it's, it's, this is when, when Scott comes in town, it's literally, it's all taken apart, but for decent wow. reason. And all the main stuff that goes wrong, like the door pulls and whatnot, I, I think Sage already put them in, actually. And it's going to be a matter of cleaning it up. It needs a little bit of paint, specifically in the front end, and send it down the road. I, I don't know if I'll keep it. I don't know what I'll do. But it, it is a nice it's a nice car. Mechanically, it's decent. So yeah, 69990 I can have this one, too. <sighs> yeah, sure. Why the heck not? We'll run. Sounds like a great deal. Let's just do the credit check real quick. <laughs> What's what's your YouTube channel? <laughs> see, this is a, a unique thing about this car. This car was imported from Europe. When you see the stamp here, oh, okay, oh. and there's actually a, a spare VIN plate in the inside here somewhere. But um, see, there's like a VIN plate there, and it's got an extra number in it. If you run that on a Carfax or whatever, it will not pull up. You got to use a European auto checker. I mean, in my experience, I'm sure wow. you could. Somebody said if you eliminate one specific number from the group, it will match up, and okay. you'll be able to pull a Carfax. But I had a European auto check do it. And then there's, oh, there's a plate right here. That's where the one is. So I don't know how they got it imported, but there's a couple of them kicking around like that. Uh, and somebody told me, I'm Ferrari mechanic actually, that the imported ones usually run better because there's less emission stuff on them. So anyway, this one's, yeah, I, I dog this one. These are fake. These need to be pulled off. Yeah, that, you can see there. It kind of stinks yeah. because it is a nice, when you got one of these cars, Look, I, I'm not one of these guys that would spec a car with every carbon option or whatever, but having the Ferrari horses is just classic. And, you know, some of them came without them. Yeah. This one did. So it is So if I is. buy this, it's put back together. Oh, no. That's an oh. extra fee. You got to <laughs> bring a truck to, you got to bring three guys to lift that whole entire sucker yeah. out of here. Yeah, he used, you used that lift to lift that off, I did, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, was an that ingenious was... Just like the engine hoist for pulling the... Rich gave me the idea to be fair. Rich is like, I think he wanted you hurt. Because I, I thought for a minute you might no, lose an was, eye or something trying to do that. What, the injector puller? The injectors, Oh, that yeah. was definitely sketchy. Yes. The that was, top was not. Once the top no. came out, it was smooth, you know, because it's all one big yes. mass. It's not going to pop. Those injectors, on the other hand, that was not smooth. <laughs> but it works. But I'm it so works. I would have cleaned up, Randy. But I, you know, I knew it was just you, so I didn't. You Thank know you. What I'm saying? Yeah, I appreciate that. Okay, so is is there anything else? Because um, I'm not sure I've really seen anything. Anything that I want, well, you don't want to sell. You want to go look at the 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 stuff that that even is more costly than the Ferraris. Right in the front field, we drew, you've, oh, you've got you've got some you've got or, some more expensive Or you want me to take you to the like? You want me to Let's, take you to the real junk in the back corner? There. No, 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 no. Let's see what else you got. I do have some credit. I have some credit. I know you do. I have some credit. I know, but it's again, it's, it's going to be good for what it's good for, you know. And that's what. Okay, you know. let's let's go see what else All right. you got. How'd you make your way to this section, Randy? This is the. This is not only the real, real high-end stuff. This is the not seen anywhere stuff. This is an exclusive first look. That's true, and I appreciate you. that. No problem. I really do. Well, but, the, the, you promised to buy a car, so you better buy a darn car. I well, <laughs> well <laughs> I fully anticipate that I'm going to buy something. I just, I just, I. There's so you've got so many good deals out here. It's really hard to pick one. Well, we have to have one. We do. We have, we have no way home. There's no way. Did, home. We didn't tell them that, did we? No. We, I should have said well, at the beginning said, of the video. I shouldn't have said that then. No. Yeah, well, we, I, we, there's no negotiating uh -oh. out here. These, <laughs> yeah, this is this, this is, is not, like this is. You're you know, a shrewd negotiator. You know those Terrible. car dealerships that have fair first pricing up front. That's me. There's no negotiating. <laughs> yeah. I'll give you the price, Great. and you either buy it or you go find a car yeah. elsewhere. Yeah. Right. And now we have no way out of here. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's a lot of. It's yeah. there's nothing here. 
So. Well, there's cars though. Well, yeah, there are cars. So we we will have to buy something because we flew out here and we have no way home. Randy, you're f well familiar with this. This was a spur of the moment purchase. Yeah. It was made possible by AAR Auto Sales. It was. I okay. did assist in the transaction, yes. And this was something that, that just I saw. And you know, we were talking because you bought an Aston Martin. Yeah. And no joke, I was bidding on a similar car to yours at a different auction. Copycat. Can't you get some original we, we content? You had no clue. I told you. I could show you the date <laughs> stamp on it. And I won the auction, but it was not released, right? Yeah, yeah. But I, I, the Aston market is in the toilet. Yes, it is. It is. Nobody cares about this generation of cars, except for maybe the DBS. Yeah. The DBS convertible, you know, give or take, they cost more. But they shouldn't cost more because, you know, they're old convertibles. Anyway, the Aston Martin, the old Aston Martin's in the, in the tank. Nobody really cares. But I happen to notice this one. And honestly, I swear, I told you I'm not the biggest fan of that car you have. And I had the same car, so I'm not saying it to be rude. I'm just saying it. Like, I agree. I'm not the biggest. It's not a terrible car. It's not a very inspiring car. And it should be it should be something because it's an Aston Martin. It yeah. has that prestige. And it just isn't there. So anyway, this is one that I've always loved. I think this is the best car that they, the best looking car. Excuse me. I don't know. I'm sure there's better cars that they've made. But this is the <laughs> best looking car Aston Martin's ever made, the DBS. And we saw it. This is the, one of those flood ones. And I was in awe at the buy it now price. Now we did a little digging, a little history. This thing had ran two times prior. Nobody had bought it. And it was the first week of the year. Nobody's bidding at these nope. auctions. And it's like, they're gonna let it go. They had a low buy it now, a super low, a quarter of its, of its retail pricing buy it now. And you know, we like to play stupid games and win stupid prices. So I go, Randy, if that's there, we're going to win it for two tenths of what it would sell for in working condition. And we end up paying $700 more. And that's how the Bingo. auctions work, people. <laughs> Bingo. Okay. So I seriously thought their buy it now price was super fair. And of course, I didn't want to pay it because I never think anything goes for buy it now. But um, so far, it's going to be a little bit of a handful. But maybe this works out maybe it works out because it was flooded and there is some water damage in some areas but hurricane ian hurricane ian definitely not just a freshwater flood salt water flood yeah i'll take it yeah well i don't know how you're gonna get it out of here because i mean it rolls if you okay. have mike okay. push it, <laughs> well, I'll just push it yeah that's gonna be the only way and that's not the only Hurricane Ian special, right? Oh, or, no, you got another one? Not you bought the, two Hurricane Ian flooded cars? I got the Mercedes parked in between, please. Now, uh, people are going to see this. And they're going to go, hey, tell me about that Hurricane Ian flooded. When I, when I go to sell this, your video is going to pop up. <laughs> he was showing off all his Hurricane Ian cars. This no. one is not Hurricane Ian. No. That's just a, eh, something's broken. We'll fix yeah. it. Yeah. And it's been sitting there also for, you know, just God knows a, how long. AMG. GTS. This is something I'm yeah. really excited about. I've been talking to you about buying one of these yep. forever. Yep. And I finally got one. This isn't any old C4. It's a ZR1. You sure it's not just a sticker? Somebody. Actually, stuck I never on looked there. under the hood. <laughs> well, see, it's got that third brake light up there. That's Maybe, how you know. Hey, he might have. That's how you. He might have stuck that up there. <laughs> there. They make oh, so many. Dude, cars. this is from where I live. There you go. Hootie. <gasps> this is it. Hootie. This is the one is I'm the, taking is home. Is that Hootie Berg? Hootie. Yeah. Hootie no, Hootie? No, Hootie who? Hudeberg. Hudeberg. Hude and that's the eight. Hey, is it still in is it still in business? They just sold to another company, so technically that dealership is no longer okay. in business. But yes, it, the location's there, the people are there, the cars are still there. Hootie, yes. Hootie yeah. Berg. Hude, Hude Berg. So this one has a clear water line drawn on it. Which doesn't mean anything. I don't trust, I don't you trust, don't trust? The water lines. You ever see my old video, the water line scam, where I found specific, <laughs> where you could <laughs> no, see I in the not. pictures <laughs> that they were embellishing the water line a little bit? That's an old video. But look at the seats. Actually, what's crazy is I don't see any... Nothing. Definitive water. T wait, touch the carpets. All. I want you to get your hand yeah. in there. That doesn't feel like crispy carpets to it's me. It's not. Nope. The whole thing feels no. dry. Now, here's even one step further. If you're bold enough, watch out. There's a, It's a little slick of a trailer. I don't know, because you've had one of these cars. There's some electronics in the back hatch underneath there. Did you have that in yours or no? I don't remember any electronics back okay. there. Okay. Well, there are. This is a different generate. This this is different it's the okay. same car but all the electronics are different than they were in my 80s model so there's like like in most corvettes you've got those little storage pockets in yep. the back this has a couple of them and there's like a whole entire electric i don't know what it's for back here 
it's dry as could be and it sits it sits down here it's like here where the water line was so there is there, there some water probably very likely got in here not much but i don't think much i think if this one looked the worst because of all the dust on it in the photos and not that's on just wood. dust well that's dust yeah that's, that's auction dust but it does make it look uh I like this. Let's see, we gotta check. Oh man, I like this. We gotta check out though, Randy. We what really did they call see? this roof? I forget the name of it. The Astro Roof? Was it the Astro Roof? I thought that you got a, I thought it was just like a a, a, a roof. They call it plexiglass, but they call it something different. <laughs> it, it's, it's not, it's not, it's plexiglass, but it they, is, say, yeah. they say something. They I may, thought they called it the, the Astro Top or the Astro Roof, the one that you could see through. The other one was just a, just a regular top for it. But those were notorious for cracking and that one looks to be in good shape. And uh, I mean, I think all these cars pretty much came with a color match roof yes, and that roof. Yeah, and of yeah. course mine doesn't have the color match. But I'm sure that'd be easy enough to get. Uh, yeah, eBay. As the funny thing is, here's the funny story. I had a C6 back in the day. C6, yes. And I've only had C6's Corvette up till now. Here's a C4, and then there's another C something or other waiting around somewhere else. But I wanted one of those roofs, and a guy had one on the form cheap. So I'm like, all right, ship it to me. I swear, you know how I buy cars. I never insure any packages. But this package, I said, this is a little sketchy. Let me insure it. I insured it. And the whole corner was cracked in when I got it. Insurance paid out, and uh, I got my whatever back. But we, you said that this could have the wrong engine in it. Is that the wrong engine? Nope, that's that's the right engine. The twin cam. These are these are becoming so rare, honestly. And if you look, I mean the, wow. it's it's not like well I looked a little bit more than you looked, and there's some there's some good and there's some really bad, but. We're gonna see what we can do with it. Now, if you're willing, we might be able to get a tool and, and figure out how to turn on, because it came with no keys. Did you check to make sure the keys weren't hiding somewhere? You know what, you got a good point, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yes, I looked under not. the chair, probably I looked not. in the console, or in the you know the center of the glove box, I didn't find any keys. I did see that wiring harness. It wasn't hanging like that, I pulled it down. But I'm wondering what in the heck that's all about. That's your OBD port. Oh, okay. Well, then yeah. that's that's supposed to do that then. Yeah, it's supposed to be attached somewhere at the bottom of the dash. Well, yeah, we'll let it hang then. <laughs> I got this part. Tell me what you know about this, if you know anything about this. Oh, yeah, the tumbler, the new keys, and the sensor, the reader for the, uh, which you won't need anymore. Well, we need to wire a resistor to it, yeah? Not to this this won't get used that side yeah the vats module will be the modules behind the radio okay but the actual piece that we need to split sorry about that there, there. i just ruined your audio yeah we need a new one let's see it's still it's still turning yep, still everybody turns. all right yeah and then not knowing what resistance the original key was yes that's uh well i've got a set of okay. 20 different resistors in the other seat okay so this one, I mean, it's in good shape. It is, it really is. And it's got a little dust. The doors also will not close, but you said they're not mechanical. They shouldn't be. Well, no, something's disconnected in there. It sounds like it's flapping around. And then open that one. I mean, I feel this opening, this moves. You could see something moving in there when you do that. Oh, look at that, Randy. Look at that, I just- I knew it. I just fixed something. Yes! Oh, look at that. <laughs> look, it just needs some WD-40, yeah. look at that. That's an old GM problem. Yes! Look at this, this is why I had him come out here. <laughs> Did the price come down? Did yes, absolutely. <laughs> I'm Great. so thrilled Great. because I was, I was like, I don't want to have, I, I've looked at the schematics to opening this door panel, I'm like, you know everything's gonna crumble. I would, yes. I don't know, maybe, maybe not. Some of these old American cars are okay, but some of them are like, stuff just disintegrates when you touch them. <laughs> yeah, these weren't the best years for, uh, for American cars. This car though, man, this is gonna hit the... Uh... It will, but same issue yeah. with the thing. So you pull it and then you just shimmy the... Oh, wow, that one will need a screwdriver. Screwdriver. It's, it's been banged yeah. in there a few times. What's that, I smell something. <laughs> It smells like, I don't know, diesel fuel Yeah, maybe there's a little diesel fuel huh. hanging around here somewhere. Okay, well. Yeah. I'll consider this one. Uh, you this has to... to be cheap, though. Like, it's, it's, it's mm. got to be cheap. It's probably the cheapest car you have out here. Nah, I yeah. I would say. Uh, what do we look at? 
Well, aside from those two Daihatsus. Yeah. Those which, are those are still on the table. Are, are, one yeah. for you and one for me. That would oh be. You goodness. guys should really try That's... and drive those home. <laughs> or what you could do is you could deliver them to like other YouTube guys along the way. All right. So right over there, there's like it's you know sitting under a tree. Of yeah, course. I left the top. Oh, down it's a convertible. Too. Yeah. And the top is down. That's that's got the most miles out of anything out here. Two hundred. <laughs> And 60-ish thousand, but I, if I sell it to you, it's got to be not actual miles. Oh, okay. Because who knows how many real miles. <laughs> yeah. You know, the previous owner could have 330, but they turn it down to a real young two, 260 just to, like, yeah, young you know, increase that resale value. But I'll tell okay. you what, the interior, look at that interior for 260,000 wow. miles. How'd that seat hold up so couple well. leaves in it. This is a 3LT Z51 package. It's top spec, heads up display, it's got everything. It really is. I think you even paid more for the automatic transmission. Eh, well, <laughs> probably, yeah. It's got good tire Michelins. Look, it's e he's even already got your dealer plate on it. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! Oops. We forgot about that. Uh, Randy, yeah, this, well, okay. is, this okay. is, I mean, I, it's terrible because, and I think you know this, the cars that you really end up liking, you always say, this is one of my favorite cars, and you got four other cars, you know, <laughs> that are one of your favorite cars. And, like, I, I really enjoyed that Porsche 911 I had recently, but those were my two alternated, alternating daily drivers last year. This car and the Porsche 911, and the Porsche 911 came with a much larger issue than this car yeah. had. Yeah, I remember that. This car was really darn good. A little bit of like spit shine. I say that because the worst part is probably the paint finish. But oh, I mean, yeah. you got to imagine this is a lot of this is the original paint. Yes. And you this know? is Florida. <laughs> a lot of it. Yeah. <laughs> most I'm, of it. I think most, most of it is original paint. Yes. And one other good thing about this car, it also comes with one oh. complimentary <laughs> can that of is... block seal. Thank you. That's... Yes. That stops leaks, repairs gaskets, seals cracks. Yeah, so you know. Extends the life of your vehicle. That's right. And well, how do you think okay. this got 260,000 <laughs> miles in the first place? Yeah, okay. So, let me tell you, this has uh, got some quirks and features that didn't come in the factory. And the first one is gonna be how you open the hood. There is no hood. Well, there is a hood latch, but it's, it's in the trunk. If you oh. ever want to fix it. Okay. Um, it has these little things. You kind of just, this is magic. You reach up under here and you feel around and then uh, it's somewhere. Oh, you feel something and then just kind of, <laughs> there you go. You don't even have to look, just you'll feel it. I don't, no. Is it a cable or is I don't, it? I don't even know what I'm feeling for. I've got some cow stuff coming off of the Let's uh, see. fender liners there. Yeah, that's free. Don't even worry about it. I'll give it to you. There you oh. go. Easy. And you don't even have to have the car jacked up to get to it. There it is. Look how clean that is. That's because we ceramic coated that uh, thing. That actually stayed somewhat clean. But there you go, Randy. This has 260,000 miles on it. And I think one of the best. Oh, look. We even left this loose for you right here. Now I'm looking. That's, <laughs> that's not even tied, is it? No, it's, there's, yeah. don't worry. It's got 260,000 miles of like heat cycles, <laughs> keeping it together. It's not coming off. So it, it's like, it look at these plug wires. Good God, those are thick. Let's see, did this break? I'm curious. Oh, it broke, look, that's why. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah it did, it snapped. Oh, was it rubbing on the belt? Uh oh. oh. <laughs> okay, well, uh, hey, guess what? <laughs> I got a spare belt <laughs> in the back for you. So we're good to go. How many miles is it back to Oklahoma from here? Do you know? I looked it's it up. A, it's a few. Seven, no, is it 1,700? Yeah, yes, that yeah. sounds. That so sounds I did right. notice this. I don't think I told you, uh, full disclosure. This hood blanket must have sagged a little bit and so burned. And so you got a little burn in the fiberglass. I mean, you know, it's, huh. it adds character to the uh, whole package. It's exactly what I was looking for. And I'll give it to you for the low price of 69600 <laughs> Okay, look, I said 69690 I'll drop it. $69,420. Well, that, that, uh, you know, I bought a brand new C7 for way under that. Yeah, so, but... and it didn't have, uh, it didn't have 300,000 miles on it. This one, you know. It's, it's, it's got good character. for another 300, you know? <laughs> you can't put a price on that, Randy. Right. So either quit.
quit looking or pay up. You got two choices here, right? Okay, so I guess the cat is out of the bag since. Randy, you I already bought it. I yeah, I left my stinking license plate on. I was, I was gonna try to screw with everyone and tell them I don't know what car I'm buying. But yeah, 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 I, I got this car for sixty nine nine ninety or whatever. <laughs> what? It was nowhere near. Randy's that. definitely a car salesman. He knows the nine ninety. Yeah, nine ninety nine. And even a cigarette burn. Look at that. Oh come on. How about that. There's cigarettes in it. I swear I never smelled. You were a cigarette. smoking in this. I, Randy. Is that what that is? <laughs> yeah. It's a okay. Burn. Well, I'm gonna tell you. It I was used not to smoke. for me. Okay. But if you used to smoke, you won't even smell. Oh no, no. no. Well, I don't smell anything anymore. That's how I tell the everybody. Down. <laughs> when someone comes and looks at one of my cars and it's got a cigarette odor, and they go, "How do I get rid of that smell?" I say, "Take up smoking." <laughs> That's the best way to get That's rid of it. That's Great advice. Okay. This is great. Yes. This is great advice. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you that, uh, but see, I, I didn't know because I never smoked in this car. And it honestly don't smell like smoke. But no, it that's doesn't. probably because it it's doesn't. a convertible and the, that the helps. smoke just went yeah, right that out. That really helps, know? yes. But, um, this is in decent, decent shape, Randy. And I, I don't even want to tell you that because I hope you make it home all right. And it really is a phenomenal... I never thought I'd like love the automatic transmission, but it works. It okay? does. Yeah. And you can have some fun. It's still fishtails a little bit if you're being silly and whatnot. And again, I don't even want to talk it up anymore because I did give you a disclaimer. This you is a did. car and it will break. <laughs> yes, it will. And that's what all pieces of paperwork at dealerships should say. This is a car and it will break because that's all you need to hear. Yeah. Okay. But if it does break, we have block seal to fix it. That's right. So. Well, hopefully it's... Hopefully it is some of the block seal. See, you want the block seal to fix it because the car comes with a complimentary can of block seal, but right, you don't want right. it to be the block seal because it's got an LS2 engine and really, you know. They're not, they're still not cheap. Yeah. You know, no, they're, they're cheap not. compared to some other engines, but they're really not, they're not, they're not cheap motors. Look at, look at that steering wheel, Randy. Look at don't that. even look at that. Wow. See, that was my fix, okay? Uh, I mean, I, you, you did the steering wheel. I remember that. You did this no, uh, seat cover I, too. I was kidding. You could show them that. That was solely because I was not feeling like fixing that. These are expensive. I think they're like 300 bucks. I shouldn't even tell you that. <laughs> yes. But they were broken. Forget about or the, it. The, that cover would just stay floppy and it would leave the light on and it would yeah. kill the battery. And I said, I know a really good fix that. I'll snip the wire that goes to the thing. There you go. Problem that's, solved. that's a real fix. Because real men don't need no mirrors. No. We need sun visors. I got, sun, I got sunglasses. We I don't need even sun need, visors. I don't need a sun we need visor what you either. have. But we do not need no stinking mirrors. Okay? But it is kind is of, nice. you know what's so funny? I bought this car on a total whim. I was not looking to buy any cars. My friend Alex was coming in town. He's a GMLS guy. And I didn't even look for GMLS. I said, what's like really cheap and has, what's something stupid? And what comes up? Corvette, 258,000 miles at a Carvana auction. And Carvana <laughs> sells anything that's not 20,000 miles and four years old or three yeah. years old or something. So I'm like, Huh. And they start all their auctions at the reserve price, okay? So like where Copart starts everything at hundred bucks or zero dollars and then the yes. first bid's a hundred dollar increment, let's say. They started all at the reserve price. So the reserve price was like, I think 78 or 7,900 bucks. And so I'm like, well, I'll bid $200 over that. It's It should, could be worth that. But the other thing Carvana does is they list everything with like engine prop. Like they really red light the heck out of them. And none of them have prop. I was bidding on a Ford truck with like 30,000 miles that said engine problem. They have video of the engine running, like some of the auctions you frequent, and you can hear if it's got an engine problem. I'm going, this thing doesn't sound like it's got a knock. It did have a check engine light on the dashboard. And uh, I said, I'll take it with a check engine light. You know, what, what could it be? And if you happen to watch the video, there was one coil was pack cracked. that was cracked. Yep. And it didn't, on the way home, Sage drove it and he's going, hey, the check engine light went off by its own. So it was still operating. It's type of deal. And then the other thing that I replaced, I think really made this car solid because it was still a little wonky where the wiring harnesses that go to the coils, it's so cool that GM made them separate from the entire wiring loom. Yes. <laughs> they like cost they knew. 70 bucks and you slap them in there and bam, the whole car. I mean, you f fire it up, Randy. Come on, you got the keys. Mike, you've got Guess the keys. Guess what I've got up. to go with this car? I've got a second set of keys, too. You got two keys? I, I, I don't I, get I would two tell keys you, with anything. What do I do with the keys? Oh, come on, uh -oh. Mike. Oh, you have the keys. Well, oh, I, got, I got a spare set if you need them, really, but that's the set you want. Uh, the other ones, I think the batteries are dead, so keep that. those ones yeah, close. Yeah, we'll, we'll 
lose well we won't lose those can i step in this no, I, I would i would avoid stepping in that yeah no <laughs> no thank you we got to get that that thing sorted though we got to get a quick clamp if yes. i don't have one okay you ready yep fired up i honestly i know I, i'm being recorded right now there it goes look at this there you go we'll talk about only the good stuff i feel like i'm being like shady car salesman behind the scenes i seriously didn't even randy i haven't driven this car in a month i told you 2022 that was like it's alternated yeah and then i parked it and i'm like well we had a special auction and i'm gonna tell you about that a little later okay somebody stood me up and i'm gonna we're gonna expose this the man that stood me Ooh. up Listen give her a little it. gas it sounds great it from the outside we need to make that a little louder. It idles almost as smooth as the Range Rover. <laughs> so I guess that means uh, That's we have a, nice a car. massive road trip ahead of us. 1,700 miles, is that what he said? Yeah, I think. Oh, but we're going well, south. Well, that's right, we're going south. You're gonna put 2,000 miles on this bike. Yeah, time we're going thing. south and we're going to Louisiana and we, we got some, Wow. we got, <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a trip. But what we what we got to accomplish today was the best walk around I've had in a long time. <laughs> it's unique. It's different. Yeah. And I appreciate other people taking the tour with me. Oh, it's, you're a great tour guide. Too. Thank you. Well, I know the stuff very well. I, I yeah, <laughs> I would hope so. <laughs> the field of dreams out here, man. This is great. If you ever do decide to sell the soar or the two little cars. Well, let me get some credit and then then we'll let's make we'll, a deal we'll, we'll, we'll make a deal <laughs> guys i'm gonna get out of here we want to give you this quick walk around or quick it's a long quick, video yeah this, quick walk around. this is the longest video i've shot in a long yes, time is, yeah but we are we're gonna get out of here because we're gonna mess around with a couple of your cars yeah i need some help yeah and we're gonna lose daylight and you and i are about to embark on a hell of a road trip in a th almost 300 thousand mile corvette i don't know that i've ever seen a c6 with 300 thousand miles before it doesn't have yeah. 300,000, Randy. Get it right. 260. Trim not actual. TMU. Not actual. <laughs> TMU. Exactly. <laughs> TMU. It could, it could be, you know, it could yeah. have 350. We don't Ooh. know. And by the time you get the 2,000 miles in, it will only log like 200. So, you know, it does a 10%. That's great. The 10% rule. I like that. <laughs> I wish all cars had odometers that worked that way. All right, yeah. Sam, thank you very much, You're man. Very we appreciate welcome. you for inviting Good us out here. Good to meet you, Randy. Good to meet you too, man. It's been a long time coming. Mike, thank you for flying out here. Yeah. and uh embarking on this because we got we got more stuff coming hopefully we make it home we got our own hurricane ian flood car didn't we not this one no <laughs> not this one no, but it's a cadillac convertible yeah yeah we're going we're going south and we'll see we're gonna go meet big owls bike and auto mm -hmm. that'll be a separate video and then we're gonna go meet swamp boys garage out in uh louisiana so we stay tuned for the videos yeah don't miss it guys stay safe out there we'll catch you all very soon in the next one